All right, uh, folks, we're getting ready to start our uh, DNA extraction exercise, and I wanted to uh, show you what supplies you're going to need for this particular exercise. Uh, some of the supplies will come in your home lab kit, and some of the things uh, you'll be able to gather up from around your house. Um, the supplies you're going to need from your uh, lab kit include uh, your test tube rack. You're going to need at least four of the disposable test tubes. You're going to need uh, one of the small micro test tubes. Uh, you're also going to need from your home lab kit uh, two of the graduated transfer pipettes. They're the ones that have the little markings here and have the larger tip. And then you're going to need two of the micro transfer pipettes or the micro tip ones which have the, the smaller tip. Uh, some other things you're going to need from around your house to complete this exercise. You're going to need a permanent marker. You're going to need a little bit of uh, dish, liquid dish soap. Uh, I'm using a yellow one. Preferably if you have it, a clear dish soap actually works better. You're going to need a little bit of just normal uh, table salt. You're going to need a small amount of meat tenderizer, which you can get from the spice or baking aisle of your grocery store. You're going to need a small amount of isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, preferably 91% rubbing alcohol. And then you're going to need um, so just a small measuring spoon. So those are the uh, supplies you're going to need for this particular exercise. All right, folks, for this next section, uh, before we begin, begin the actual extraction experiment, we need to do a little bit of preparation in terms of mixing up some solutions and reagents. Um, one of the things you need to do actually before you start the experiment is to actually take your alcohol and put it in the freezer. It needs to actually sit in the freezer for about two hours. Um, the alcohol is not actually going to freeze because the freezing point of alcohol um, is much, much lower than the 32 degrees uh, for freezing water. So it's going to get really, really cold, but it's not actually going to freeze. But for this experiment to work, the alcohol needs to be uh, ice cold or freezer cold. So before we um, actually do the experiment, the first thing you want to do is actually put this in the freezer. All right, now we're going to mix up some solutions. Um, I've taken my test tubes and I've taken my marker, and you'll see that on the side of the test tube, I've, I've written some things. On one of the test, test tubes, rather, you're going to write a salt or salt solution. On one of the test tubes, you're going to write enzyme or enzyme solution. On one of the test tubes, you're going to write cells. And then on one of the test tubes, you're going to write soap or soap solution. All right, so we need to mix up uh, a soap solution. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to take one of our transfer pipettes, one of the graduated ones that has the markings on it, and we want to add about about four milliliters of water to this. Um, if you suck the water up into the transfer pipe, at this top line here, that's exactly one milliliter. Uh, we don't have to have exactly four, but we're going to add around four milliliters of water. So I'm going to suck up about four of these pipettes worth of liquid. It's going to fill the test tube up about a quarter of the way. Once I've added my four milliliters of uh, water, I'm now going to add just about one drop of this liquid uh, dish detergent. I don't want to add a lot. I'm just going to add about one, maybe two drops. Oops, that came out pretty quick. That's okay. Now what I want to do is uh, mix it. So I'm going to use the same transfer pipette that I used to add the water. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix it together. I can do that simply by squeezing the transfer pipette several times. The other way to mix it is to simply just tap the bottom here. So now I have a solution uh, that's uh, part water, part soap. All right, the next solution we want to mix up is uh, the one labeled enzyme. And so with the enzyme solution, I'm going to fill this up again about uh, four milliliters. Um, so I'm going to fill it up about one third of the way full. Again, this is going to be somewhere between about one quarter to one third of the way full. We're not making real exact measurements here, but we're looking for uh, the test tube to be about, again, one third to one quarter of the way full. 
Now what we're going to add is we're going to add a little bit of meat tenderizer. Now I did want to make mention, you notice that for this particular experiment, uh, I'm not wearing any gloves, I'm not wearing a lab coat, and that's because all the things that we're using for this particular experiment, none of them are hazardous or caustic or toxic. And so meat tenderizer, we use this all the time uh, on steaks or hamburger. And so we're just going to add just a small amount of meat tenderizer to our test tube. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this here. We're going to add what equates to about one pinch. So if you were to just take your fingers and, and pinch it and drop it in there, you could. Or I'm actually going to use a small measuring spoon. And I'm just going to scoop up maybe about one sixteenth of a teaspoon. I have a, an eighth of a teaspoon spoon here. I'm going to go ahead and fill that up about about one quarter of the way or one half of the way, and I'm going to go ahead and drop that into my test tube. All right, now I want to mix it, and to mix it, I'm just going to go ahead and tap the bottom here so that the meat tenderizer granules are dissolved in our liquid. So that mixes up our, our enzyme solution. All right, the other solution that we need to mix up is simply a saline or a salt solution. So again, to this particular test tube, I'm going to add, again, about four milliliters of water. So again, I'm going to fill it up about one-third of the way full. And then to this test tube, I'm just going to add about one-eighth of a teaspoon of just normal salt. So I'm just going to add some salt here. mix it so that the salt dissolves, so I'm just going to gently tap the bottom of my test tube. This is going to be a fairly saturated uh, solution of salt. In fact, we might want to add just a little bit more water so we can get a little bit more of the salt to actually dissolve in our solution. Add maybe three or maybe four more squirts of liquid there. Again, we're just going to tap it to mix it. So here we have a, a salt solution, we have an enzyme solution, and then we have our soapy solution. And then of course we're going to make sure we put our alcohol into the freezer, let it sit for about two hours before we actually begin the experiment. Alright, so the next video is going to actually show you how to do the extraction.